Hi everyone, I'm from Multiple Warna's Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make Korean fried chicken. So for that, I have a mixture of chicken wings and chicken drumstick right here. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the flour. Okay, so for the flour, what I have here is corn flour and I have a dash of pepper. To this, I'm going to add in salt as required. And then give this a good mixture. Yeah, just mix it slightly. Okay, now... I'm just going to dip the chicken into this flour. Make sure the chicken is coated thoroughly with the flour and then continue doing for the rest of the chicken. I will show you how to do it. So pick up a chicken piece and just add in the flour and make sure the chicken is thoroughly coated with the flour. And then shake off the excess and then put it in another pot and continue doing this for all the chicken and I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done okay I'm doing the last one now Okay, what I want you to do is, I want you to check these chicken pieces and make sure all the surface is coated with flour because like, I, you, rem you remember seeing some extra flour there, so if you need an extra flour for any of these chicken pieces, make sure you add them and then that's it for this thing. Now we're just gonna heat up the oil and fry the chicken. Okay, take a big pot like this, add in the oil and on your stove and heat the oil up. Okay, tips for the oil. So to make sure that the chicken pieces doesn't stick to the pan, add in a little bit of salt. And now my oil is hot enough, so let me fry the chicken. a double fry where I'm going to add in the chicken pieces and let them fry for a few minutes and then I'll take it up take it up from the heat and then I will refry them again so now this is just the first step don't overcrowd your pot give some space for the chicken to fry I'm just reversing the sides. Okay, now I'm going to remove my chicken. Don't worry that it's not fully cooked because I'm going to refry them. I'm adding in the second batches of the chicken. Okay, now my, I've taken out the chicken pieces. Now I'm going to re-fry them. So I'm just adding them back into the oil. Okay, my first batch of chicken pieces has cooked, so I'm just removing them from the heat and transferring it here. Now I'm going to add in the check second chicken. Okay, you can see my chicken has fried beautifully. So now for the Korean sauce, I'm using this sauce Korea from Adabi and it's my first time trying it but I've heard good things about it. So I'm just going to pour this over the chicken. Mm. 
it smells really really good so I'm hoping that it will taste good as well I know it's gonna taste really good so I'm just making sure all the sauce is out of the packet okay now I'm just gonna coat the pieces with the sauce just give them a mix okay you can see how beautiful it looks I mean look at that it looks really good so for the final touch as you all know all Korean fried chicken will have this special ingredient on top so I'm gonna add some in mine as well and that is your white sesame seeds so just sprinkle them just like this the more the better yep that's it and there you go guys Korean fried chicken with the Korean sauce from Adabi is ready it looks really good it smells really good now as usual it's time for my taste test so I'm just gonna taste one so I'm just gonna taste test this mmm it's crunchy it's freaking spicy but it tastes so damn good I hope you will try this recipe at home do let me know in the comment section below let me know how it tastes once you have tried this recipe it's very simple to make and it's very very delicious Share this video to your friends and family and subscribe to my channel Multiple Warana's Kitchen and see you next time. Bye-bye.